Hello everyone, me and my pumpkin spice cold brew. Welcome you back to the channel. My name is Lauren if you're new here and if you're not new, you're amazing. Thank you for coming back. If you are new here, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I am trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of this year. I think that's doable, but I definitely need your help. Now, what are we talking about today? I have, I have this good old basket here of some new makeup. So I thought that we would just do a little bit of a get ready with me where I put it on and I tell you my feelings. <laughs> now I have tried all of these items at least once before. So I have a general idea of how they work, if I like them, if I don't like them, but I thought it'd be fun to just apply them on camera and then we could talk about them a little bit more. Uh, Cause there's some good stuff. There's not a lot. I don't have a lot of new stuff, but the stuff that I do have, I, I've been liking quite a bit. So let's just, let's just get into it. Okay. So I'm actually going to prime my eyes with an OG favorite. This is, this is the Mac paint pot in bear study. I don't know where this little guy has been, but as you can see, he's got quite the little dip in him and I'm pretty sure one paint pot pot will last you your entire life. I used to use this guy exclusively to prime my eyes. And then I don't know, I got distracted by like newer, fancier, shinier things. Um, I think I probably got distracted by my give me glow stuff because that primer is fantastic. Honestly, I have so much love for my OG Mac paint pot. So pulled them out today. Thought I would use him as a primer for my eyeshadow. Now for eyeshadow, what we are going to be using, we're going to be using the new Sydney Grace Mountain Trail palette. You may have seen this in one of my other videos. I did a Sydney Grace Christmas in July haul. Um, I'll link it up here if you want to take a look at what I picked up, but everything I picked up from that haul, I've been using and loving and uh, yeah, Sydney Grace is fantastic. So this is what the palette looks like. It's just a gorgeous, grungy, it's got brown, it's got green, it's got gold. These are all my colors that I absolutely love. <laughs> so when this palette came out, I was just, I jumped on it real fast. So what are we gonna do today? I don't know, not, not anything too crazy, I don't think. I just want you to get a general idea of how the palette works and we're gonna kinda just talk about it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Dirt Road first and I'm just gonna put that all over my upper eyelid and I'm gonna use my bling brushes because I'm feeling fancy today. It's, you know, the first day of, well, it's not the first day of fall, but it's the first day that I've gotten a pumpkin spice anything. And we have to celebrate that. So we're gonna celebrate that by bringing out the bling brushes. So I talked about Sydney Grace's eyeshadow formula in the past. Ooh, I actually, you know, they're launching a new palette tomorrow that looks absolutely stunning that I'm trying to decide if I need or not. <laughs> now, if you're saying, Lauren, the answer is no, you don't need that. You'd be correct. You would be correct, but it is gorgeous and it's tropical colored and it's hard for me to say no to that. Uh, but, <laughs> but I have talked about Sydney Grace a little bit in the past just to compliment their formula because their eyeshadow formula is just stunning. I absolutely adore their shimmer formula. Their matte formula works fine. I don't feel like I really have like a favorite company that just produces like the best mattes ever. Actually, you know, I really like ColourPops. I know that's weird. I love their mattes. Not all their mattes, their matte browns. Okay, I need to think about that a little bit. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna put some of, let's do Wildlife, which looks like it's a little bit browny greeny. I'm going to do that in my outer edge and I'm going to fluff that out. Ooh. Okay. So this color is a little more green than brown. So just kind of, kind of take that into consideration if you are using it, uh, which is totally fine because I love green. But yeah, back to Sydney Grace's eyeshadow formula. I'm trying to get better at talking and applying my makeup, but it's it's harder than it looks. <laughs> like, I feel like sometimes when I talk, I have a very animated face. So my face is going everywhere. Uh, there's quite a bit of spit coming out of my mouth. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but I'm a little bit all over the place. So I, I tend to take some breaks while I'm applying eyeshadow so I can pause and look at what I'm doing. And so my eye lids aren't moving all over the place when I talk. Okay, so I'm just kind of fluffing that color out. It's a really pretty green. 
This palette is actually gonna be great for fall. I am doing a favorite fall palettes and I'm gonna have to decide if I wanna put this one in it. I really do like this, it's quite pretty. Okay, so simple eye look. Now let's go ahead. Okay, we have to use Escape because it is a gorgeous green. Now I'm just gonna put that in my inner lid Oh, look how pretty that is. And there are some shimmers that I will say, they just apply better with a finger. Come for me if you want. But there are some shimmers that I feel like it's hard to pick up on a brush. Sydney Grace, for the most part, I don't have that issue. Like this is going on great on the brush. It's laying down beautifully and you're getting the full impact of the color. And oh my God, it's so pretty. It's like a golden olive. Oh, love it. Love it. Okay. So next, there's a little bit of kick up in the pants, but I haven't gotten any fallout on my face. Okay. There's a little bit. Hang on. I lied. There's a little bit of fallout, but not much. Oh, I think part of that is just my skin too. So next what I want to do is I think I'm just going to go into backwoods and I'm going to just put it under my waterline. And again, I just, ugh, God, Sydney Grace, like indie companies are where it's at when it comes to eyeshadow. Like, sure, I like some of the big companies. You know, I'm constantly talking about ColourPop and my love for, for all things ColourPop. But indie is where it's at. Like, some of my favorite companies are indie companies, and they just come out with the most stunning formulas, gorgeous shimmers, and not always, but sometimes they tend to lean more affordable than some of the other brands that are more mainstream which is crazy. So it just shows if a small company could have lower prices that a bigger company can slash their prices and be totally fine. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera and just do that really fast. I just wanted to give a little bit of an example of how this palette works. Okay, so I don't have a new liquid eyeliner to try out. So I just used my trusty NYX Epic Ink Liner. Uh, I'm bummed because this one has definitely given up the ghost. It uh, leaks all over my face now. So it was this close to ruining my look today, but I, I stopped it in time. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I need to get a new one of this uh, because it's amazing. This formula is, mm, there's nothing better. But I do have a new mascara that I'm actually really excited about. So I have the new Blink Lash Extension Tubi Mascara. Now I love Tubi Mascara so much. They are phenomenal. They literally form little tubes around your eyelashes and they make it so much easier to take off at the end of the night. Normally, I don't have any issues just kind of getting my face wet and rolling the little tubies around in my fingers and then just pulling them off. Like they're super easy to get off. So I love a good tubi mascara. We actually tried one not too long ago, the Cali Ray one, and that one is fantastic as well. So I've been really liking the resurgence of tubi mascaras. Now, this is what the brush looks for this one. And I have tried this one and I love it. It gives me lift, it gives me definition, it gives me a deep black color, which I have very light eyelashes. So I need some of all of that. <laughs> I, need, I need lift, I need color. It's not quite as dramatic as say my uh, MAC Stack mascara is. My MAC stack is phenomenal. It really is. But it's also not something that I necessarily need to wear every day. I mean, I, I wear it most days because I love it so much, but it is a very dramatic mascara. This one, I feel like I can wear it more every day and it is totally perfect for that. So I'm gonna do two coats. It's normally how many coats I do of my mascara. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I really do like this one. I like this one a lot. Okay. So we have that one. And like most other Tubi mascaras, when I take it off at the end of the night, I don't have any issues. I know there's a couple Tubi mascaras out there that are really hard to get off your eyelashes and you have to kind of tug at them, which who wants to do that? It's terrible. Um, this isn't like that. This one comes off really easily, uh, which I love. I just oh, love it. Love it. I saw this pop up on Sephora's site and then I no one ever talked about it. I didn't hear anyone talk about it, which is kind of disappointing because it's so good. Okay, I don't have a pencil liner. 
but I feel like I want one. So I'm just gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Iconic Pencil. And this is in the color Barbarella Brown. So let me put that on really fast. I do really like this pencil by Charlotte Tilbury. I really hate when pencil liners are tough and you have to like really rub them on your eyes to get them to work. This one works great. It's very soft, it's very pliable. It's a great pencil. Okay, so I did already prime my face and I used the Bobbi Brown Face Base because again, this is my tried and true. I normally try out any new foundations with the Bobbi Brown because it works on like everything. I haven't found anything that it doesn't work on yet. Hmm. But today for foundation, we are gonna be using the new Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear. God, was I even close? Tint Idol Ultra Wear <laughs> Care and Glow. It has sunscreen, SPF 27 in it, and I have mine in the color 120N. And you know what I love? They have an actual expiration date on here. So a lot of products are gonna say, oh, expires, you know, 12 months from the date you open it. Um, and I don't know if you know this, but you can tell that by, it normally has this little image on it. So this one expires 24 months after date of opening. But this one actually has an expiration date. So February 24th. And I really like when it has an exact date. Now, this one I've used a couple times now and I do tend to have drier skin. I've heard from a couple people that it doesn't work very well on dry skin. But what I have found out, as long as you're using a hydrating primer and as long as you're going in with more of a light hand, this works great. I have not been having any issues with it. And in fact, I've been really enjoying it. So I just went in with one pump, I put that all over my face, and now we're just blending it in. And I think this is probably my winter color. It's a little light for me right now. We're gonna add some bronzer, so it's all good. In terms of, you know, do I feel like it dries out my face? I haven't had that issue, but I have mainly been using it with the Bobbi Brown Face Base, which is the most moisturizing primer that I have. Is it the most? No, I have some oil primers. I feel like oil primers would not work good with this though because it's not an oil-based foundation. So that would just be a mistake, but my oil primers are actually super hydrating. Now, Bobbi Brown Face Base, it's just, ugh, I can't talk about it enough, it's so good. It's like an old product. I feel like a lot of the older YouTubers used to talk about it constantly. And now no one really does. I know a lot of people just don't like it, but I, I really like it. Okay, so that was one pump. I've done more than one pump. I've done two pumps before. I haven't had any issues with it layering on top of each other. I feel like it does a really good job covering up any imperfections without looking heavy, which is exactly what I look for in a foundation. It does have some fragrance though. The fragrance in it is stronger than what I would normally like. I don't like heavy fragrance on my face. I'm not sensitive to it. I just don't wanna smell it all day, um, <laughs> even if it's nice. I actually do really like how this one smells. It's like half flower with like an edge of sunscreen. And I don't know if you know this about me, but I have a weird fascination with any perfume that smells like sunscreen. I know, I like just wear sunscreen, but um, <laughs> I like my perfumes that smell like sunscreen too. So we have a new, ah, there you go. Okay, so we have a new concealer as well. So this is the Bobbi Brown Concealer. What are they calling this? Skin Full Cover Concealer. And I have mine in the color Ivory. So that is what this one looks like. And this concealer is a little bit heavier than most of the concealers I have in my collection. And it also has the weirdest wand applicator. Okay, I hope you're getting this, but it's like, it looks like a vulva, right? I know my anatomy, come on. <laughs> and it like collects the foundation in that little divot and it is, it's, it's kind of strange. I haven't had any issues with applying it. Just kind of tap it to the corner. It does release quite a bit of product, especially if you just put it on flat with like that divot right on your face. I feel like a lot of concealer today. It works fine. It's just weird. It's not weird looking, it's just unique. I don't think I've ever seen any other applicators with that shape. 
<laughs> I'm not quite sure if they decided that that shape was more beneficial, but I mean, it works fine. So that's what's important. And again, this concealer is a little bit heavier than what I normally wear, which is kind of okay. But you gotta be a little bit careful. Ah, I got it too close to my eyeshadow. Okay, I wanna tap that part in with my fingers. And again, I definitely got my winter color in this, um, but that's fine because it's almost winter, right? <laughs> but I live in California and it is supposed to be 105 degrees on Monday. 105 degrees, it's fall, right? I saw that Safeway, one of our local grocery stores, they were getting out their pumpkins already and I was like, put those back. They are gonna explode in this heat. It is too hot for those pumpkins. Okay, so yeah, again, another product that I've been liking as I've been using it, I worry that in the winter when my skin gets super dry that it's going to be too thick, but so far in summer, it's been working really well. I do like it quite a bit on top of this foundation as well. They work really well together. And yeah, I'm going to definitely continue using this. I do like it. and. <laughs> Bobbi Brown, I've talked about this before, but Bobbi Brown, their foundation, I never know what color I am. I need someone to help me because I feel like what you see in the bottle and what you see online and then what you see in the swatches are three different colors. And I never know what color I am in foundation, but I am glad that I picked up the right concealer because this one works great on me. Another new product I picked up is by Laura Mercier and this is her new setting powder. So this is the new Ultra Blur setting powder. It's supposed to be talc free. And uh, yeah, I got mine in the color translucent. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's kind of classic Laura Mercier. This is another one I've been using. And I, to be honest, I don't, I don't notice a whole lot of difference between her OG setting powder and this talc free one. Now it works great. I like this setting powder quite a bit. Not when you swallow it though. But personally, for me, I haven't noticed that much of a difference. I think it's probably really beneficial if you do have any sort of allergy or sensitivity to talc, because now they have a product that's talc free, which is awesome. But if you don't have an allergy or a sensitivity, I don't know if you necessarily need this one. Okay, I cannot talk and do setting powder because that goes right up my nose. I mean, it looks great, but honestly, I had no complaints about the original setting powder that Laura Mercier came out with. And I've heard that there is a brand new pink one. And I'm gonna have to show off my pink setting powder collection because I don't, I don't know what happened, but I have a lot. A product that I feel like isn't brand brand new, but it didn't come out that long ago. It's just ColourPop has so many releases. And that is their new, their Super Shock bronzers. And I have mine in the color Get Sandy. So the color, looks like this. And well, I love the Super Shock formula, this one is not as easy to use. So you definitely need to get like a thicker brush. And uh, I'm going to just, I've only used this bronzer twice. And each time I've kind of had issues picking it up on the brush. I have to pick it up on a thick brush like this. It's pretty sturdy. And then I normally blend it out with my beauty blender. Let's see if this brush will work. Oh, this brush is working not too bad. This one is leans a little more yellowy orangey than my preference. I do like a cooler bronzer on my face, but uh, can't decide if I like it or not. <laughs> I've used it a few times now and I don't think I love the color. I don't think this is my color. It's pretty and it actually goes on really, really well. I just wish there was a cooler tone color because this one is just too yellow, too orangey on me and I am not a warm person. I, well, I'm a very warm, welcoming person, but my face is cool. If anything, my face is neutral. So most of my foundations tend to be light neutral. That is the color I go for. Which is why it's so confusing by Bobbi Brown's website because I feel like the light neutral looks yellow. It looks yellow. 
Okay, blending that into the skin. Yeah, I, it's like it looks like I've been using it a lot because it's got that dip in it, but that's just a super shock formula. And I, I will talk about their super shock eyeshadows for hours because it's so good, but I don't, I don't think it works as well in the bronzer formula. This is not like the first brush I've tried with it. I've tried it with a couple other things and it's just, the color is just not the color for me. It's one of the problems. And uh, I just don't like it. It's a little more difficult to apply on your face and sometimes you want something that's a little bit easier, right? Next product I picked up, I'm actually not sure how new this product is, but I picked it up because I saw it in the store and I was like, oh, pretty. And this is by Elia. And what is this? Let's talk about this. This is the multi-stick. So it is a multi-stick. Yep, that's what it's calling it. So I'm assuming it's for cheeks and lips. And it's got shea butter, orange peel wax, and avocado oil. And it's a really pretty color. Wait, is that a cat hair? How? Okay, ignore the, ignore the cat hair on there. <laughs> it's, it's my cat, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> So I have used this on my cheeks quite a few times. I do like it. It's a very pretty color. It is pretty light. So you can kind of see it's blending in pretty well with my bronzer, but it is a little bit light. And I find it very similar to the NARS multi-sticks that they have, that they've had for a while, but it's a very kind of, it's a thicker formula. So it's not a cream, it's definitely a stick and you have to apply a little more pressure on your face to get it on. And you probably have to layer it a little bit as well, like I did, to get the color you want. But if you want something really light and really sheer, then you can do one swipe and you're all good, but it does build up. I do really like this color. And again, I think this is just a good color overall for summer. Now we are going into fall, but <laughs> again, it's still so hot here. It doesn't feel like Fall is coming up anytime soon. And it does give a nice little shimmer to the skin. Like I feel like my skin looks like it's glowing where I applied this. So it's pretty, it's pretty. I do like it, but again, it is a thicker formula. So you kind of have to tuck on your face a little more than you would with other products. So this is one of those things that uh, Instagram made me buy. I saw a couple of my favorite creators use this product and this is by Tarte. And this is the Maracuja Juicy Glow Highlighting Stick. And I was like, I don't need a highlighting stick. That's ridiculous. But I, uh, I, I got this one and I got mine in Pearlescent Glow. And I do really like it. It's got a little clicky thing, which is just a little bit strange. Um, but I saw some creators put it on and I was like, oh my God, that's, that's absolutely gorgeous. And I... We'll sometimes use my beauty blender, but also I like just applying it with my finger as well. And I just feel like that is a gorgeous glow. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some on my nose and then let's, let's do that. And honestly, that Elia multi-stick, I probably wouldn't even put highlighter on top of that normally because it gives a really nice glow but I wanted to show off this guy because I, he's just gorgeous. See that? Yeah, that's an absolutely gorgeous highlighter. And I like that it's not too shimmery. So it doesn't have big chunks of glitter in it. It's pretty finely milled, but it just gives such a glowy, like ethereal look to your face. I absolutely love it. Last product that I picked up is somewhere and I don't even know why I picked this up, <laughs> but I did. I was at Ulta and I was looking around and I found myself in front of the REM beauty section. Now I did a short on the concealer, so you should definitely check that out if you haven't already. And um, I actually really liked the concealer. Like first off, they came out with 60 shades of the concealer, which is absolutely amazing. That's awesome. And I really liked how the concealer performed. It's a great concealer. And it uh, inspired me to pick up something else from REM Beauty. This is, I'm not quite sure. This is a lip balm from them. And does it even have the color in here? 
Well, it doesn't it doesn't have the color on here, but let me show you. I'll I'll stick it down below somewhere so you can see. But it's like just it's just a shiny balm. Let's see if anything picks up on my Nope, it's got like no color. It's got some shimmer. And uh, I just, you know, I've been using it as a lip balm and I like it. <laughs> but it's a lip balm. It's like nothing, nothing crazy. But it does a good job hydrating. My lips look balmy. So yeah, I, I, I do kind of like it. What I don't like though, is that instead of just like being able to pop it off, it's like a screw top. You hear the click? So when I first opened the packaging, I was just like, why aren't you opening? And then I realized it was, it was a screw, which, uh, I don't love, I don't love the screw. And I really, I just don't love her packaging. I, I know what she was going for. She was going for like an outer spacey, like futurescent look, but it just kind of looks cheap and it kind of feels cheap too. Cause it's, it's just plastic. It's just gray plastic. So I wish she had done something a little different with her packaging, but I, you know, I still pick something up and I don't hate it. I do kind of like it. Okay, so here's the final look with all the new products that we use today. Honestly, I really liked everything that I tried out today. I think the only one that's not my favorite is the ColourPop. And that's because one, I don't love the color and two, it's just a little tricky to get out of here. It does apply really well on the skin, but I, the color is just not for me. Anyway, that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed trying out these new products with me and let me know what you think in the comments below. Did you pick any of these up? Are you planning on picking any of these up? If I had to recommend one item, this is great. I mean, I know people don't really highlight anymore, but it's so good, it's so pretty. Um, <laughs> No, I really enjoyed everything and I hope you had a good time watching this video as well. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.